What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jesse B. with Pop to Chong Toys, and today we are featuring Robot Paradise's RP01 Acoustic Wave. Now, Robot Paradise is aka Fans Toys, and this RP01 Acoustic Wave is their version of Soundwave. Now, I've been wrestling with myself for nearly six months. You know, I didn't bite the first time because I am very happy when it comes to my Soundwave, you know, the MP, the Masterpiece version of Soundwave. It is not a bad figure and I still, you know, kind of holds up to this day, but how can you resist like a fan's toys version of Soundwave? It's just not possible. I tried, trust me. I, I said I don't need it, I don't need it. And here it is. All right, folks, so on the uh, top it says Robot Paradise right here, RP01 Acoustic Wave. You got Soundwave right here with Frenzy. And it says Fibra on there. Robot Paradise 2021. Acoustic Wave on the side. Acoustic Wave up here on top. Acoustic Wave more RP01. RP01 on here in the bottom. And then on the back, you got a bunch of look what I could do. And a, a little bio in there. So very nice. There it is. You see that all the tapes look done very well, which I still got to acquire. All the nice liquid I can do is cassette form, um, you know, tape player and all and everything. Two different styles of robot. So let's get this open. All right, let's bust out the handy dandy. All right. Wow, they really rebranded all this stuff too. Robot Paradise. Okay, anything else inside? Man, you just know this is gonna look good. Okay. All right, let's get the, the new ritual for Robot Paradise. Wink, wink. One cut. Two cut. Three cut. And four. Get that off. Wow, look at that, folks. Right off the back, it looks great. Uh, you can see this little mist transformed in there, like always, traditionally. All right, let me get them out of the packaging. We'll be right back. All righty, folks, and we're back, and we have Soundwave here, suited, booted, ready to rock and roll. And I'm just gonna say, folks, this guy is not falling short of any expectations. Man, uh, now I just kind of wonder why I waited for so long. <laughs> uh, first up for accessories, you get this nice um, RP01 Acoustic Wave uh, instruction booklet. It gives you the highlighted features of what to turn. Looks good. Uh, you got in a, in there for Frenzy 2 as well. Very nice. You get two uh, tech spec cards done very well. Nice hard plastic like credit card style. You got a Q-Stick Wave and Frenzy right here. Done very well. Alright, now bear with me. There's a lot of accessories here. Okay, you get his traditional gun. AKA battery uh, looks very good nice you know blue mold with the red paint and chrome dipped uh, tip right here for the laser does very well will clip in your typical you know um, third-party hand hand uh, peg right here you get the second one um, the second battery looks very good can extend Look, I got all the rocket, you know, the rocket launcher right here. Looks very well. Oops, excuse me, sorry. We'll peg in. Very well. And that's what Soundwave looks like with his rocket launcher on the side, rocket pod. Awesome looking. Okay, next step. You get 
all these features to make him toyish or you know tunish so I guess these ones are for like the toy pads you you would put these most likely right here sorry next up you get uh, two metal plates I um, think not remembering I think these are, these are probably like right here for the tune look or the toy look sorry you also get shoulder pads um, just like the original one had I believe looking very good you put those on you get the different style head with the yellow eyes more Decepticon looking crest face very nice looking awesome done well with the, the yellow the white and the blue seems like you just kind of pull off and push on so that's good you get a different uh, chest plate in here with a little bit of designs on there looks very nice you get the empty energon cube that comes out of his chest you know looking very uh, nice this is like a uh, I want to say like a frosted plastic it's almost see-through but um, depends on which way you look at it this way is frosted that way see-through probably get a nice little pink in there somewhere for the legs you could also um, change them out make them more toyish I believe just you know snap those in somehow probably get to it later and then for frenzy it comes in this nice, you know, little cassette tape uh, holder, and I just, you know, floored by the the massive weight that is behind this right here. Jesus, they really diecasted him out, which makes him feel nice and, you know, sturdy and not, uh, whatnot. Looking very cool. Hopefully, it's easy to transform. Looks very good. You got the nice yellows and blacks in there, and the reds, the blue, and the silvers. Looking fantastic doesn't fall short of any fans toys you know expectations like I said earlier this thing is a little micro brick you get two different faces one head right here you get it well actually a whole head I guess the second head looks very good get two of the weapons in the back the silver and chrome you know one he could hold or put them both on the back however you like that's what they look like little wings will fold if you need to like so and then you get two of these I'm not sure if they're like knee pads, arm, sh shoulder pads or something. I'll figure it out when I get there. Then you get his two pile drivers. Done in the nice maroonish red with the black. Looking very good and nice. I haven't pulled this out yet. Not sure how they do it. Um, let me read the instructions and see how it does. But I don't want to just start pulling stuff. It's might break. Fans toys we're gonna handle care, right? <laughs> Alright. That's it for all the accessories. Now for Mr. Soundwave himself. It is a beautiful, beautiful toy folks. Let's check it out. Nice crimson red face. Looking very very well very tunish you got the you know hardly any you know uh, line the line, panel lining or anything like that to make it look kind of tuny looks very well done um, not sure if I did this right I, just, I still gotta check to see you know I kind of just threw it together really fast so I might have something wrong here but you got that fans toys heft the feel the paint job the quality is all here folks don't let that Robot Paradise name uh, fool you. It is Fans Toys, definitely. This thing is amazing. 
All right. For articulation, the head will swivel around. There's no side to side on there. You can look up quite a, quite a bit. You can look down uh, subtly, not too much. You can press that, open it up his chest. Stick your micro cassette in there if you like. Like so, close it up. There you go. For the arm, on a nice ratchet, ro rotate all the way around. Ratchet it going up this far as well. There's the bicep swivel. The, is that doubled or no? That's on a single hinge, but it gets you past the 90. It will do more than what it needs to be. Looks good. For the hand is on a ball peg in here and it will swivel and you know maneuver how you like it the thumb is on a ball peg as well with a hinge so it'll give you great range on there for the fingers you got the base pin knuckle with one two more hinges in there and they're singly individually posable so great articulation for the waist there is a waist swivel there's an ab crunch in there too as well. Kind of teeter-totters if you like. For the hips, you just move those out of the way. For the front kick, get you straight out. It's like a soft ratchet. Get you that much for the back. Get you out for the squeaky booyah kick. Boom! There, there is a die cut up in the top. That gets you more than enough for the 90 band on the knee. For the toe, there's up and down, side to side, very nice. And I believe that's it, folks. This guy is a solid brick, looks fantastic. All right, let's get him some size comparisons. We'll be right back. Alrighty, now for size comparisons, I have Cerebros here from the last video. Now Cerebros is just big, so he's pretty tall. Kind of give him a run for the money. We got Thundercracker from DS. And... Got MPRC. For size comparisons. All right, and one more to go. Bam, we got Micro Sandwave in here. Legends class, or core class, should I say? I don't know, I had to buy that. I never really buy Legends, but you know, I had to buy them because it was Soundwave. <laughs> All right, that's it for my size comparisons. Let's move on to Frenzy. Alrighty folks, and we're back with the mighty frenzy here. Suited, booted, ready to rock and roll. And you know, this guy's like TNT all packed up in one little bite-sized cassette. So check it out. I mean, this feels really, really good folks. And do I got a nice paint blemish on mine? I guess I do. Just noticed some blue right there, if you can see right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. So forgive me folks is, you know, my first reactions and stuff is all, you know, legit because I'm seeing it for the first time, just like you are with me right now in real time. Okay. But this guy feels excellent. You got the, you know, the nice reds in here, the dark charcoal gray with the yellows and you know, the blue kind of, this stuff is painted on here, which would have been like, you know, tempo paint or, you know, or stickers back in the day done really well you got the nice you know uh, chromed out toes and whatnot maybe die cast possibly but this guy is nice and heavy which is very very nicely done die cast is always appreciated by me and wow it's awesome so for the head can articulate can you know swivel back and forth 
can he look back? Oh yeah, he can look back if he wants to. And look forward ever so subtle for the arms. Can get you up for the Michael Jordan if you like. Swing it around. Of course, get you up. Get you to the back. Of course, you're gonna be knocking things away and whatnot. Uh, if you want it even better, or whatever, you're gonna have to maneuver a little bit. It kind of hinders a little bit because the little bar, the way it's designed. Uh, the arm can give you more than a 90, which looks good. And it can bend out funky if you want uh, for design, most likely for the power driver. The hand is stationed, a little pistol grip in there, which you can load the, the gun in there as well if you like. You can have him hold it. Done very well. Okay. Is there... I think it's too much trying to ask for a waist swivel, huh? And then, of course, you can ab crunch it with the, you know, the thighs. Maneuvering. Can get you up for a front kick. Can get you to the back. Very nice. Get you up for the booyah kick. Boom! You know, the thigh cut up here because it's just on the peg mushroom. Get you butt kicks all day long. Then down here for the, the ankle, it will tilt up, tilt down. You got the heel spur in the back. Done very well, folks. This is actually a really cool figure. Um, can't wait to get to the rest of the cassettes. Now, for the pile driver, you could just fold it up really quick, fold the arm, fold that up. Place the pile driver in, I want to believe, let's see, um, yeah, I believe so. Push it in like so, and that's how he activates it. You just press this little button right here. Like so, bam. I can uh, push in spring loaded. Very cool. All right, let's get them transformed. We'll be right back. All right, folks, and we're back, and we got Soundwave here in his alt mode, which is the classic cassette player Walkman. And this is cool. I mean, very retro uh, Soundwave looking like, you know, the old Walkman cassette player. Very cool. Nice big brick here. You know, squared off very well. I mean, this thing got heft behind it. It is the most solid square box you'll ever see. Can't wait to get me a, you know, nice Decepticon logo on there. Of course, it, uh, that will work right there. You know, just like it does in robot mode. The, the buttons on him don't really push. This right here does rotate. American. Tighten it up a little bit, but uh, this right here won't move. But it, I mean, a lot of nice little die cast highlights and everything on here, very nice looking. I mean, it's big and solid, trust me, you could throw it through a window. <laughs> all right, and then we got you know, Frenzy all folded up into his nice micro cassette, looking very nice. As you can see, it just folds up into Soundwave, like so. And then you can close it up and voila. For a quick size comparison, we got Streetwise. So you can see it's a large, large cassette player. Very nice. Alrighty folks. Now this is, you know, probably won't have sound wave like this. You know, oh, I got them for the robot mode, but I mean, if you like the alt mode too as well, it will do you justice. It's nicely done. Perfect. What could I else can I ask for? All right, folks, this will start to conclude my video here on the Cusick Wave by Robot Paradise, AKA Fans Toys. If you haven't hit, please hit the like and subscribe. It does help out my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. This is Jesse B signing out until next time. Y'all have a good one.